Hello everyone, welcome back again to today's tutorial on introduction to Julia or Julia for beginners. So as you have already learned in today's one, we learn about strength and how to manipulate strength. So in our previous tutorial, we learned that a strength is a finite or countable sequence of characters, which is usually placed in a double quote. So for example, this is going to be our first strength, first strength, right? So it's supposed to be I say hello well right so in Julia this is how a string is supposed to be as we learned from it it's supposed to be in double quotation we can also have different format of string in which you can have something like let's say uh, a second don't forget to make it like this a second string right is going to be in triple quotes, quotes literal so this is a triple quotes literal and then it has several quotes max right so you close with the end so this, this is a new line because I jump to a new line so that's one nice thing about Julia that like it supports single quotes like double quotes like this, which is for a string, or triple quotes like this. So if you want to check for the length of it, you can just go straight away with this format of length, but unlike in Python, which was supposed to be length, then then say first string. Let me tap and then okay. So it's 11. The other one for the second one was and uh, underscore second 58 so that's one way you can check it for the length of a string in julia apart from that also you can also check to see whether it's actually a string using the normal what we learned in the previous tutorial type of and it will tell us it's a string so that's one nice thing about it apart from that you can also check and see whether the string actually can manipulate it so that it counts as it wants to be so to count from all these things you can make it like first string right then let's say one Julia start from one not from zero so it's going to print it for us if I make it zero it's going to give me an error because a bound error because Julia doesn't start from zero but start from one and apart from that so I can make it like one to ten do hello world 1 to 11 hello world or if I make it like 1 to end I'm going to print from the first character or dig it to the last character also you can also make it like this just the end I'm going to print the last character for you or you can make it like so that is one way you can also do it in Julia apart from this format too you can make it lowercase so lowercase and then you bring your variable or which was a string and you're going to put all of them in lowercase i can make it uppercase see it which is quite interesting so i've made lowercase and uppercase also you can also reverse the string you can just reverse it straight away reverse and then see that it's actually reversed it for us you can also add to it or subtract from it so one of the things you can also do is that you can also check for contains right for the contains like for example for, for the contains there's string and i want to check whether it contains the word e so when i do it like this when i do it like this if it, it contains E, it will tell me true. If it doesn't contain E, let's say it contains S, it will tell me false because S is not found in this number. You can also repeat it, which is quite interesting using this format like repeat, right? And then when you go with this repeat, I wonder how it's going to be. Let's see. Going to repeat the entire thing. 
Oh, 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 oh. Supposed to give the number of times you're supposed to repeat. So it repeats like three times. So that's just repeated it for us perfectly. But I want you to repeat it to like a hundred. Let's see, let's make it ten times. See that has repeated for us. It's quite interesting for July. Like, sort of making it like a first string and then to the power like let's see 10 you can also make it straight away with this string with this format with the format of repeat okay so this is quite interesting and this is quite nice that you can also do in julia so thank you for watching and if you have any question or contribution you can put it inside the comment so that all of us can benefit and then also if you if you have any trouble with any of and understanding of your sense you can just put it there so that all of us can be able to see it and able to help you solve it thank you for watching and then please don't forget to like dislike or subscribe stay blessed